Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing some examples on De Morgan's theorem. Let's consider this example. Simplify the following Boolean expression and note the Boolean or De Morgan's theorem used at each step. Put the answer in SOP form. So here SOP stands sum of product. And this is a given expression f1 equal to x dot y bar whole bar dot y bar plus z whole bar so let's try to simplify this boolean expression so first write on the given expression that is f1 equal to x dot y bar whole bar dot y bar plus z whole bar so now if you consider this x dot y bar whole bar as a single variable let's consider a and next y bar plus z both together consider variable b so now this expression a dot b whole bar so you know that d morgan's first theorem complement of the product is equal to sum of the complement of individual variables that is a dot b whole bar equal to a bar plus b bar you can write so now here a is nothing but x dot y bar whole bar b is nothing but y bar plus z so let's apply the de morgan's first theorem here we know the shortcut that is break the line change the sign so x dot y bar whole bar and one more bar plus because now this dot becomes plus now that is change the sign next y bar plus z whole bar by applying the de morgan's first theorem so next x dot y bar double bar so double bar will get cancelled we know that because a double bar equal to a so here x dot y bar as it is plus here y bar plus z whole bar is there so now if I consider this y bar as a a variable and z as a b variable then a plus b whole bar so this is here we can apply the de morgan's second theorem that is complement of the sum equal to product of the individual complement of the variables that is a plus b whole bar equal to a bar dot b bar so here instead of a y bar is there and instead of b z is there so apply the second de morgan's theorem here break the line change the sign so y bar one more bar dot now this plus becomes dot and z bar so next x dot y bar as it is plus y double bar we can write y dot z bar so now rewrite this expression without using and symbol and parenthesis that is x y bar plus y z bar so this is the final simplification of this expression So let's consider another example. Simplify the output function f2 shown in the logic circuit. Be sure to note the Boolean or de Morgan's theorem used at each step. Put the answer in SOP form. So this is the given circuit. So here in this circuit, just consider the final expression that is f2 equal to x bar plus z 
dot x y whole bar and one more bar so let's try to simplify this expression so this is the given expression that is x bar plus z and x y bar whole bar so again apply the de morgan's theorem here so now here consider this x bar plus z as a single variable a and x y bar as a variable b so now a dot b whole bar that is de morgan's first theorem a dot b whole bar equal to a bar plus b bar so break the line change the sign so that is x bar plus z whole bar so here hand operation is there so that becomes our operation that is plus and x y bar and one more bar so now x bar plus z whole bar keep this as it is plus x y double bar is there so that becomes x y and next again here apply the d morgan's second theorem x bar plus z whole bar is there so this becomes x double bar and this plus becomes and and then z bar plus x y as it is and x double bar is nothing but x z bar as it is plus x y and f2 equal to x z bar plus x y rewrite the above equation without using the bracket so this is the simplification of the given expression